vegetative propagation artificial propagation click each tab to know more cutting some plants like rose jasmine grow individually when a piece of its stem having bud is cut from the existing plant the lower portion of this cutting is buried in the moist soil after few days it is observed growing small vegetative propagation artificial propagation click each tab to know more cutting some plants like rose jasmine grow individually when a piece of its stem having bud is cut from the existing plant the lower portion of this cutting is buried in the moist soil after few days it is observed that the cut pots have buds grow as an individual pot layering a branch of the plant with at least one node is pulled towards the ground and a pot of it is covered with moist soil leaving the tip of the branch exposed above the ground after some time a new root develops from the pot of the branch buried in the soil the branch is then cut off from the parent plant the pot which has developed roots grows to become a new plant example nerium grafting two plants are joined together in such a way that two stems join and grow as a single plant one which is attached to soil is called stalk and the cut stem of another plant without roots is called cion both stalk and cion are tied with the help of a twine thread and covered by a polythene cover grafting is used to obtain a plant with desirable characters this technique is very useful in propagating improved varieties of various fruits and flowers example mango citrus apple rose suppose if you have two varieties of fruit yielding trees in your garden one tree has the character of giving big sized fruits but less in number the taste of the fruit is pretty good the other one gives a large number of fruit but they are neither big in size not tasty by grafting a very anxion shoot pot of a plant can be made to flower and produce fruits quite fast spore formation generally we notice whitish threads and blackish powdery like substance on rotten fruits bread slices and other food materials when you touch it the blackish powder sticks on your fingers this is the reproductive substance produced by a fungi example rhizopus you have already learned about this in the chapter the story of microorganisms in class 8 rhizopus produces hundreds of microscopic reproductive units called spores when the spore case also called sporangia bursts the spores spread into air these airborne spores land on food or soil under favorable conditions like damp and warm conditions they germinate and produce new plants most of the fungi like rhizopus mucor etc bacteria and non flowering plants such as fern and mosses reproduce by the method of spore formation